guys welcome back to the final day of the fitness application project so in this video we'll be implementing the functionalities to display the basic information on the top that is the number of workouts performed the amount of calories burnt and the total minutes the workout has been done okay so in the previous videos we went ahead and built up the home screen and and if you press on the fitness card we are taken to the workout screen and if we press on the start button we should see the first exercise that is in the exercises array showing up in the next screen that is over here so if we press on the done button we take a rest of uh, three seconds and then come back to the same screen but we are showing the next exercise that is present in the exercises array so we can also even go back and perform the previous exercise once more and we can even skip this button or skip this exercise as well so let's skip this one and then again we take a break of three seconds come back with the next exercise on the screen so let's hit done for this one so this is the basic functionalities we have implemented in the previous videos. So now if I go back to the previous screen, uh, we should be showing the tick mark button for the exercises that we have uh, completed and we should not show the exercise button for the exercises that we have skipped. So that's what we'll be building in today's video as well as the information that over here I've explained the basic the workouts, the, cal uh, the calories and the number of minutes the workout has been done. So the first step is to create a context so that we have all the information in each and every component and each and every screen so that we can get that information and display it on the screen okay so let's first create the context so hit on app.js and then new file so we're going to write context.js okay so let's import the required things so import react uh, comma we will need create context and then also use state from react okay so the first step is to in your to create a context so, so let's write cons fitness items equals to create context here we will start defining it over here so const come on fitness context equals to this is going to take the children as props and over here we are going to return the provider all right that is fitness fitness items to provider and this is going to take the children that we get from that okay so children so whatever we so whatever we initialize over here we will have access to each and every component and each and every screen uh, in an application this is basically to prevent the prop drilling process so let's initialize the first thing for the exercises completed so const completed comma set completed equals to a uh, use state and here we will pass our empty array all right so the next thing is for the workouts so const uh, workout comma set workout equals to use state and we will pass an initial value of zero or because there are no workouts done in the initial stage so the next one is for our calories so const calories comma set calories equals to use state of zero again and the last one is for the minutes okay so const minutes comma set minutes equals to use state of zero again so now okay so now what we do is we are going to pass all the information over here as the value prop okay we are going to pass the completed and the set completed as well next the workout and the set workout next is the calories uh, and set calories uh, the next one is for the minutes and set minutes okay so this is pretty much all the information required uh, throughout our application right now so let us just export the information over here so let's say export let's write fitness context as well as fitness items save the file so now we have only initialized our context now we need to include it in in, in our application so let's go to our app.js and over here where we have written we are going to wrap our stack navigator inside our uh, context so we have access to it in each component as well as each screen uh, of our application so let's say fitness context and let's import it from the context file and let us just put the stack navigator inside our context over here 
so save the file yeah nothing goes wrong so it's working properly so now what we do is we are going to our workout screen that is over here so if i press on the start button will uh, will be taken to the fit screen that is over here okay so here we'll start building up the logic so first let's import all the things that we created inside our context so to do that we'll make use of the use context hook so let's say we need pretty much everything uh, completed uh, set completed and then uh, minutes as well as set minutes okay we also want the calories and the set calories and we will equalize it to use context over here we will pass the context it's going to be fitness items and let's import it as well from the context file and let's also import our use context from react over here so after use state use context so save the file yeah so now if we press on the done button we should do three things uh, one is that we should uh, set this exercise as completed the second one is that we should increase the workout to be one uh, plus one that is this workout has been completed and yeah so i've done a basic amount of research and i have calculated the uh, calories as well as the uh, minutes okay so let's say for each exercise we take uh, 2.5 minutes and for each exercise let's say we have burnt like 6.5 uh, three calories okay so let's do that so if we have press on the done button uh, we should increase the uh, workout by one so it's going to be is it said workout let's see uh, let's go to our context file one minute yeah uh, we have not included the set workout right so let's include that over here So set workout as well as our workout. So set workout is going to be a workout plus one. Workout plus one. Okay. And next thing we do is we actually set the minutes to be the minutes plus 2.5 as I've told. Next thing is the calories. Let's for each exercise we burn like 6.3 calories. So let's increase it by 6.3 okay so 6.30 okay so next thing we do is we will also mark this exercise as completed okay so we are going to write set completed so we are going to include include the previously that is completed and we are going to add the current exercise that we completed so let's get access to that uh, i think it's going to be uh, current dot name okay so let's write current dot name and save the file so let us console dot log our completed exercises Let's give a format once yeah so right after here let's write console dot log uh, completed okay save the file yeah so initially it is undefined okay so let us uh, mark this exercise is done okay we are getting a uh, error undefined is not an object let's see what is causing that error let's give a message saying completed exercise and let's uh, remove all the other console logs this one as well as this one too save the file so now let's press on okay it's giving undefined it should give actually an empty array right okay let's see what is happening so if we go to our context we have written set completed and completed and we have set it to be a use state empty array so next we have imported uh, we have uh, send the information as value as well so completed set completed okay and we are importing it in it in our uh, fit screen right over here okay 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 i made a mistake by initializing it it is it is equal to the used context and not the current value 
save the file yeah so uh, now we are getting it uh, correctly so it is a uh, empty array initially so now if i press on the done button we take a break and that axis i should be added yeah as you can see that is added into our array so let us skip this one uh, if we skip it that is not added into the array all right let's press done on this even that exercise is adding into the array that is inclined push-ups all right so now if we go back to our previous screen uh, that is over here we should start displaying the button so let's go to our workout screen and then let's just get access to it as well so let's pretty much copy this okay and let us paste it over here so uh here we need only the set completed and the com and the completed one the others are not required so let's import fitness items first from the context file and let's also import our use context okay so now save the file okay all right i've imported it from the wrong thing use context from react not react navigation okay let's start it from the first let us hit start okay so that exercise is added into the array so now let us skip this one and the next thing we do is let us hit done for this exercise we have two exercises that are done right now so yeah now if we go back to our previous exercise we should show the tick mark button for for the first and the third one because we skipped the second one so we have access to the completed and set completed okay by using by making use of the use context so after the text that is over here uh, we are going to render the tick mark button all right so we have our we have our image we have the view so right after the view we are going to include it i think over here right yeah so we are right if completed dot includes we are making use of the includes function in javascript and then we are going to check if it includes the item dot name if this is the condition okay we are going to render something else we are simply going to render a null okay so first let's go grab the icon that is the tick mark icon so export icon start by i let's search for that check i think it's this one so let's import it from and design Yeah, and let's also copy the render component code and we are going to paste it right over here okay so the color is going to be green not black so save the file yeah so as you can see we can see the tick marks button coming only for the first and and third exercise but it's not displayed in the correct direction it should be uh, in the same line as well so let us do that so let us give a particular width to the text okay over here let's say a width of 170 yeah so now as you can see the the tick marks button are coming in the same line in, in the vertical direction that is what we needed okay so now again if we press on the start button we are going to start from the beginning that is the tick mark button goes off and again we start the exercises from the first that is jumping jacks okay let's do that uh, so on press over here we are going to navigate okay as we navigate the second thing we do is did i make a mistake yes Yeah, so first we navigate as well as we are going to set a completed to be an empty array. All right, so that we start from the beginning. So save the file. So now if I press on the start button, yeah, that should be gone and we should pretty much start from the beginning. All right, so now we are 
going to run our application from the start and now let's display the information at the top inside our home screen all right so let's open it again yeah so let's go to the first one let us hit start let's press done let's again press done okay let's again press done so now i think we have calculated the calories the minutes and the number of workouts done i think we did three workouts yeah so as you can see we can see the button coming up so let's provide a bit of margin left it's almost touching the text so style and let's give a margin left of let's say 40 all right and in the correct position so now if we go back to the screen over here we will, we will display the exact information okay so let's get access to all of that so let me go to the fit screen just copy this and let me go to my home screen and just copy that and let's import our fitness items and let us also import our use context all right so instead of zero workouts we are going to display the workouts work out or workouts it's workout okay so instead of zero calories we are going to display the calories so instead of zero minutes we are going to display the minutes and we do not need the set completed completed as well as this one as well as these two so save the file yeah so as you can see we have completed three workouts because we have three tick marks button and we also can see that over here by comparing it over here we have three exercises completed in our exercise array so the number of workouts completed are three and the number of calories burnt are 18.9 so if you do 6.3 into 3 it's pretty much 18.9 and 2.5 into 3 is 7.5 yeah so that's pretty much about this application i think we have done what we have thought in the demo video let's give one more try starting it from the demo okay starting it from the start of the application and let's check it out again fitness project second one let us hit start so if i press on the start button we have three options we can select done we can skip this exercise or we can we can't go back to the previous exercise because this is the first exercise so let us uh, press on done for this one now we go to the rest screen take a break of three seconds and come back to the same screen displaying the second exercise inside our exercises array so let us skip this one all right so you can see the array being uh, included that is the item being pushed into the array so let's again hit done so that that item is being added to the array as well again let's press done so that's also added into the array that is plank so we are also increasing the workouts the calories burnt and the minutes as we press on the done button so again done and we pretty much go back to the final screen okay because that's the last exercise present so that's the basic workflow of the application and we have implemented it in a nice way so that's it about this video so let's see you in the next project thank you for watching